Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to create a wood text effect using GIMP. First let's go to File, New and I'll type here for width 3000 pixels and for height 3000 pixels then click OK. Next I'll go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color to create a black background. Next go to File, Open as Layers and I'm going to open this image. This is a wood texture, you can use another image if you want to. Next I'll go to the text tool, click and type wood. After that Ctrl A to select the text. Then I'm going to change the color from here to white for now. Click OK. Then make the text bold and also change the size to 600 pixels. Then from here you can select the font. I'll use this one. If you want to find it, you can just type Viv and it will come out. Vivian Thin. Then with the move tool, I'm going to position the text. Then I'm going to right click on this layer and add alpha channel. Then I'm going to select this tool, then select the wood layer. Click here. Then I'm going back to this one select invert then hit the delete key then I'll delete this layer and with control shift A you can deselect or you can use the select menu select none then let's zoom in next right click here and go alpha to selection Go to select border and here type 20 pixels, then click OK. Next I'll grab the dodge burn tool, make sure I have burn option selected. And I'm going to use this brush also with big size of the brush and I'll just click and start painting over the text without releasing the mouse. I want to go over the entire text. Then I'm going to release the mouse, click, hold down the mouse button again and paint over one more time. And again I'm going to release, click and go over the text one more time. Next with Control Shift A to deselect. Then let's right click here and select alpha to selection and let's click on the move tool to remove this brush and then go to select shrink and type here 20 pixels click ok and you see how this has affected the selection then we need to create a new layer after that go to edit stroke selection and here I'll type 3 pixels, click stroke and then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur but make sure the selection is active, this is very important and then just click OK with the defaults then Control Shift A to deselect and we can also change the opacity here to let's say 60 and our text is almost ready now let's zoom in to see it better. And by the way, this wood texture is not very good quality. It's kind of blurred. You can use a better image if you want to, but if you want to use this one, info about the image is in the description. Now let's apply some additional effects here. We don't want this wood texture to look kind of flat. We need some variety. So I'm going to make sure this layer is selected. And then grab the dodge burn tool again and select the dodge option this time and uh, also 
another brush and just click and start applying this effect which will make it look weathered kind of worn out you can also change the angle of the brush use different brushes now next thing I want to show you is with the brush tool I'm going to first type here very low opacity just six and you can use another brush with black color you can just paint and again make sure this is not just a flat color so I'm going to change the brush and I'm going to pause here to do this so you see how I did my effect I used the brush tool black color low opacity and also the Dutch burn tool and we're pretty much done here so if you like this tutorial like the video subscribe visit my channel that's it for now bye